Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Wardonia. I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia. This week I'm going to be talking to you about some interesting ways to do audio compression and expansion in Reaper. Compression is the idea of reducing the dynamic range of a piece of music, to bring certain sound extremes closer to the average so that the whole piece is a bit more level. And expansion is the opposite, increasing that dynamic range. This lesson serves to introduce you to the available techniques in Reaper for doing these things, but I won't go into too many details at this point. So, let's get started. I have Reaper open with a vocal track I recorded for my intro to songwriting class. There are three techniques I'm going to show you for evening out these vocals. The first is using a basic compression plugin called Recomp, the second via a process called Riding the Fader, and third using a technique called Parameter Modulation. So, I'll just start by playing a few bars here that you can hear a bass line. Alright, so what we want to do is go to this effect button here, I'm going to turn it on. And then we're going to, I already have these chosen, but you can generally add them via the bottom left here. So I'm going to add my Recomp plugin, and uh, there's a lot of options here, but the few basic ones that are important are Threshold, and this is a, the amplitude level at which we want to start compressing down our sound. I'll set this just to something so we can hear it for now. Uh, attack is how quickly the sound gets compressed once hitting that threshold. Release is how quickly the sound returns back to normal afterwards. And the ratio is how severely that sound is getting compressed. So I'm just going to bump that up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and play, and we should be able to, to see or hear that the sound is getting compressed. So if you notice, in the, this, the guy turned red here, this little bar, that means that, that that compression is actually happening if you can't hear it. Okay, so I'm going to remove that effect for now, and let's go back to what we had before. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, ride do something called riding the fader, which is basically manually adjusting volume as the song plays via automation. To do so, we want to click the automation button here, select the automation mode of, of right, which basically means we're manually going to do it, and then this volume checkbox. And so now you see this little guy track show up below. Uh, so what we're going to do is as this plays, we're going to use this volume uh, slider to adjust. An hour in the middle of this lake. So you can see it going up and down. Obviously, I'm not doing this <laughs> as you would normally in, in mixing. But we, one thing is we can also adjust these, these points one by one to uh, kind of fine-tune it afterwards. So let's remove that as well. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do with our last technique is called parameter modulation. And this is basically an attempt to let the DAW itself automatically drive the fader for us. So uh, there are expensive plugins to do this, but this technique is free. <laughs> a bit complicated, but free. I'm going to go through this part quickly because the point is just to introduce and show off the technique for now. You can kind of explore the details later. So we're going to add an effect to this track called Volume Pan. So we're going to go back to this volume area here. Uh, I already have it set up here. So Volume Pan, we're going to keep the defaults for now. Uh, we're going to click the automation like we did before. Um, and instead of clicking volume at the top here, we're going to go down to this volume pan and click it down here instead. Okay, so once that's selected, then we go back to the track, the automation part here and click modulate this parameter button. Uh, click audio control signal here uh, and then change the track audio channel to 1 plus 2. So now when we play this, we'll see it automatically riding the fader for us. An hour away to the island. In the middle. And just as before, we can also manually change this as we go. Okay, so that's about it. I apologize for not going into more details, but frankly, I don't know a lot about them yet. Uh, I hope this gives you some good starting points for doing compression and expansion using Reaper, and I uh, really appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot.